What's up, Diecast Nation? Um, I'm back a little earlier than I thought I'd be. Ended up uh, having some family time today, so we uh, spent some time together at one of the antique malls in our area. Not really in our area, it's probably, oh man, 60, 50 miles, 60 miles. But we live in a small town outside of Phoenix, so we just made the drive. But anyways, um, some cool stuff to open. This is a, a better antique mall than the other one that I go to that I've um, made some videos with some of the finds at that one. This place is a lot better, so this is one of them. I'm almost going to have to crack these before I show them on camera. Just because of the way it's set up, they're not going to fit. So this is nothing special, but it is something cool to add to my retro entertainment collection. That is the new Austin Aston Martin. Whoa, little fence. I wish it had brake lights, but... Cool car. I needed it. Um, this is uh, another one. Alright, I might just have to... I don't know. I'll, some of them I want to show on card, but... This is the new Matchbox Mustang police car. And it... It looks like the base might have been... Like it's not mounted correctly. It rolls okay. A lot of times when they're mounted wrong, it'll crimp down the axle and jam up the wheel. That is not happening with this, but the back bumper is not lining up correctly with the body. But still, I like Matchbox cars. Um, so. Uh, I will pick a lot of those up. In fact, <clears throat> so the rest of these are uh, antique mall finds. A Matchbox, Mercedes-Benz, CLK convertible from the 1999 Open Road series. This does feature the Matchbox suspension but just a cool car for you know a dollar good detail for a dollar with brake lights headlights they roll really nice and it's a Mercedes and I don't know if I have any um, I don't know if I have any matchbox Mercedes uh, this is another one that uh, picked up on the cheap the fast gas in I think this is being released in the new um, <clears throat> one of the cases it might already be out but they changed it a little bit the rear axle is a single axle it's not a it's not a double axle like that so I'm not big on treasure hunts but if I come across them for cheap I will pick them up just to add them into the collection. I uh, found a blue card from 1991 that is a pretty cool casting I think. Ford Aerostar pizza delivery with the chrome window oh it's heavy metal on metal black wall tires rolls really nice the uh, Tampa work is, I mean, it's loose mint, blister fresh. Smell that white paint that Odog always talks about. So these next ones I think are pretty cool. I think I was lucky to come across them at the prices that I did. Some of them I found at a, another booth 
So there were a couple booths that had some of these. The other guy was charging three times as much. So anyways, uh, we'll start with this one. These are some old, uh, not old, but older Real Rider treasure hunt cars. And this one, I'm not big on like fantasy cars like this, but um, I like the the wheels on this. And this one might be a sacrificial car at some point. If I ever get back into doing customs, the treasure hunt white walls, I think, would make a really cool custom for something else. But I do like the, the Tampa work on that with the stars. That is pretty nice looking. All right, uh, next up, how about a tail dragger? So this is a really nice metal flake purple and it's heavy as all get out because it's metal on metal with real rider tires and it's it is cool cool graphics I think I put the camera a little too close that is a cool car I like that um, next we'll do this guy I see this one come come up for sale or for trade quite often and I've never picked it up <clears throat> the other guy was asking like twenty dollars for this car this one does have a plastic base it's a really good roller it's got an awesome looking black hood um, got some detailed headlights I believe it has brake lights not sure what that says and then it has the uh, treasure hunt so this one's pretty cool. I'm I'm glad I finally grabbed it. I've seen it a long time, but you know sometimes when I see it, people just want way too much for it. This is another one. I can't believe. I don't know what this car goes for, but I only paid three dollars and ninety nine cents. So I feel like I got a pretty good deal on it. I know these don't sell for a whole lot, but. I felt like that was a really good price on it. It's uh, riveted. This one's metal on metal too. So it's a riveted metal on metal base. I know some of these, I think it's this casting, where some of them have the removable body, but it's got the roll cage and uh, Headlight, tampos, no tail light tampos though, and it has the little exhaust there coming out. I think that's a really cool little car. These are all good additions to the treasure hunt collection. And then this one might be my favorite. I don't know. I don't know. It might be. The Fat Fendered 40. This is another one like the Tail Dragger. It's really heavy because it, it is also metal on metal. <clears throat> and this is by far the best roller of the bunch. Uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be my favorite. It has... Um, it's got a, like a, a flat black or maybe a satin black paint with really cool flameage and pretty cool racing decals. It looks like a almost like a bootlegger car and then on the back you have your T-Hunt 
So, yeah, that's that's my favorite car of the bunch of treasure hunts. Um, so next we'll open up a few green lights here. I'm not going to show these on camera because they're these are not chase cars or anything. Just new new additions to my green light collection that I don't have. Starting out with uh, what was this? Hermosa Beach Police Jeep Wrangler, and I'm sure. As you guys have seen in plenty of videos, these do have the removable top. Well, I'm not going to take it off though. And uh, Lamar, to uh, to get back to you on the paint, I don't know if you can see that, but that is how it's supposed to be. Those are... I don't know what they are, but that's how it's supposed to be. And then, I've opened this green machine in a, I think, my second video. This is the Supernatural Chevrolet Impala. I have the Loot Crate exclusive of this, which has the plastic base, so it's nice to get it metal on metal. But, um... Really cool car. I'm definitely happy to have that. And then the last one I found, this one I will show, because I, I talk about it from time to time, but uh, this is an early, uh, it's, well, not even really that early. This is from Series 8 of the Black Bandit. But it goes to show, this came out 2013, goes to show you how limited these castings were. And... Uh, the way the camera's set, I can't show you, but I will, I'll open it, and then I'll show you. Um, one of 3,000. So, very, very limited. And the one I got is number 945. Very nice roller for a green light. And this is the a 63 Chrysler 300K. I don't have anything like this from Greenlight, so guy was asking four dollars for it. Um, so if you guys have antique malls in your local area, you should definitely check them out because you may find yourself a honey hole. You never know what you're going to find. A lot of times people have stuff, they don't know what they have, and they sell it way less than what they should be but also a lot of times you'll find that people think they have something that they don't and they're selling it for way more than what they should be the last three were loose cars that I bought they wrapped them and I don't even remember what they are so let's open them I, I remember one of them but I don't remember the other two let's take a look alright this one I don't even know why I bought it but I just thought it was cool looking. It's not that old, I think. That's probably late 90s. But uh, I like that. I like that Specter Flame paint from Hot Wheels. I think that's why I got it. Next. This is the one that I remembered. And it's still sealed up, so I don't know if I want to open that or not. Yeah, I gotta open it. Free the piece. That's cool that it's sealed up, though. It's a Hot Wheels promotional car. I don't know if, if it was, like, for a Happy Meal or if it was something that actually came with the Denty Moore stew. But that's really cool. I didn't realize when I got it that it was sealed. I thought it was just bagged up. So another minty fresh, and I mean minty fresh, by way, man. This is not the toolbox variation. It is heavy as all get out, again, with metal body on metal base. 
and the tampos just could not be more mint. Same thing with the wheels. Um, give you a look at the just super super cool. I like that. That is cool. And that is dated on the bottom 1977. This promotion was definitely not that long ago. I think it was in the 90s. Um, the bag, 1994. El Segundo, California, made in Malaysia. So, 1994. And I actually just remembered what the last one is. And these cars that I got, I, I got them for such a great price that I just had to. I got a little crazy. I, I, I'm going to be uh, owing the wife after that little trip. Anyways, this is the, the last one. Matchbox 300Z. It's not mint, but it is not in bad shape. Oh no, it's a Hot Wheels. It is a Hot Wheels. Because it has the uh, Ultra Hots. So that's really cool. I, I thought that was a Matchbox for some reason. Um, this does feature the opening doors. It's in such good condition. Because, I mean, I... I don't know what they go for, but I only paid like a couple dollars a piece for the Z and the Byway Man. And um, I think this one was only a dollar. And then the treasure hunts were like between four and five dollars each. Uh, except this one I think was like two ninety nine. This was only a couple dollars. So, I mean, all in all, I really didn't spend that much. But, um... You guys should definitely check your, your local area for antique malls. If you collect, you never know what you're going to find. And there, there was a lot of other really nice stuff that I just, um, you know, was, do I want to get one really cool car or two really cool cars? Or do I want to get like a bunch of, of cool cars to add to the collection? And you can see which decision I made. They had, um, I think it's a 96 or 97... Actually, that one might be 2000. The yellow Ferrari treasure hunt, F512. Um, I've had that one. I just traded it a couple weeks ago. And very tempting to, to get that again. But um, they were asking what it's worth. Uh, they were asking 20 which is about what it goes for. Uh, might be able to find it a little bit less online. But just couldn't do it today. And a whole bunch of other... There's one vendor there that is just nothing but club cars and convention cars. So, yeah, go online and, and check your local area. If you're in the Phoenix area, I can definitely help you out. Um, um, there's a couple... It's the, the place I went today is called the Brass Armadillo. And there's two locations in the Phoenix metro area. Denver has one and I think the other one is in Nebraska and they were talking about opening one in I think Albuquerque New Mexico and Colorado Springs Colorado so it's a really really good antique mall but um, I mean even like up in the mountains here there's a, a small town I think it's maybe a few hundred people and they have a little antique mall that I've actually found some pretty cool Hot Wheels at so uh, it's just a really, those are really good places to find really unique stuff that that can be hard to find and sometimes expensive to find online. So, anyways, that's all I got. Um, I'll see you guys soon with another video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, please check out some of my other videos. And uh, thank you for watching.